Wilma Xavier Yaska and Zakir are four young friends who have a passion for integers. And I really like this phrasing, passion for integers. I thought, I thought there are only a few lunatics like that, me being one of them. But hey, there are people around who, are pas who have a passion for integers. Nice. One day, each of them selects one integer and writes it on a wall. The writing on the wall shows that Xavier and Zakir pick positive integers. Nice. Yaska picked a negative one. Well, Wilma, this could be negative, zero, or positive. If their integers are denoted by the first letters of their respective names, the following is true. W power 4 plus x cubed plus y square plus z is less than or equal to 4. And, this, and then all of this. We know that W and Z, sorry. We know that x and z are positive. We know that y is a negative and w is a free bird. Right? Nice. So w for 4, this is could be anything. x cube is positive, y square is positive, z is positive. This greater than or equal to 0. Nice, brilliant, super useful. Now, none of these is negative. And that's a beautiful giveaway because x cube is an x is an integer x is a positive integer x cube is 1 8 27 any of that if x cube were 8 this cannot work all four added together is less than or equal to 4 x is positive straight away we can say x is equal to plus 1 nice y is negative y square is positive if y were minus 1, y square would be plus 1. If y were minus 2, y square would be plus 2. Oh, sorry, plus 4. If y square were 4, this is also positive, this is also negative, positive. This total will be 6 or more, large number. This is greater than or equal to 0, that won't work. y square should also be 1, or y is minus 1. This is 1, this is 1. Now we know w power 4 plus z is less than or equal to 2. This could be 0 minus 1 plus 1. This has to be z is positive 1 or 2. This cannot be 3 or more. If this is 3, there is no room for w power 4. w power 4 cannot, w cannot be beyond 2 or more. It cannot be minus 2 or lesser. So w is minus 1, 0 or 1. Z is 0, sorry, it cannot be 0, 1 or 2. More specifically, W could be minus 1 or plus 1, in which case Z has to be plus 1, or W could be 0, in which case Z could be 1 or 2. W where 0, Z could be 2 also. Nice. But we know x is 1, y is minus 1. Super. Let's use equation where x and y are present. x cube plus z is greater than or equal to 2. x cube is 1. That means z is greater than or equal to 1. z is 1 or 2. This is useless for us. w power 4 plus y square is less than or equal to 2. Or w power 4 is less than or equal to 1. w power 4 is 1, 0, 1 or 0. This is also useless for us. We've already made those inferences. There's nothing special here. We know y square plus z greater than or equal to 3. y square is 1. 1 plus z is greater than or equal to 3. z is greater than or equal to 2. z cannot be 0. Sorry, z cannot be 1. z has to be 2. That means z is equal to 2. Now we know x is 1, y is 1, z is 2. This is 1, this is 1, this is 2. These add up to 4. W has to be 0. Wonderful. So including this, we can eliminate this also and say Z is 2. Or we know that W is equal to 0, X is equal to 1, Y equal to minus 1, Z is equal to 2. W square plus X square plus Y square plus Z square. 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 equal to 6. Possible values equate to only one value, You've got the value of everything. Nice, beautiful question.
Hush.